I just want to ask you with the belly high. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love belly high. Yeah. Can, I had a really good time. Can you tell me what the belly high was? The Bally High was a motor hotel in Windsor, Ontario, and um, it was family run by my father and my mother. 1970. Boy, we had quite a few years, beautiful. Make good money, had a very good time. Um, it was a smaller hotel. It had uh, 53 rooms, had a dining room, it had a catering uh, uh, banquet hall, that was also a bar on weekends. Um, it uh, had three bars uh, there and a main dining room. When we purchased the hotel, it was purchased as a Polynesian restaurant. Um, my dad uh, saw it as a way of keeping that atmosphere, but adding the Chinese cuisine. I think that again, it was the era. I mean, you gotta remember, it was back in the late 60s, mid 60s, late 60s. And I think, you know, you know when you pull up to a a hotel that has tiki torches out in front and uh, um, things that uh, the average person wouldn't have, um, have uh, visited back then. Um, people saw it as exotic and they thought, you know, and, the, and so we built on that. Grandfather wants me to, you know, act like something, you know, uh, different so that people come. And they did. You mean like, so white people come? <laughs> yeah. They're all people curious, right? And one tell another, one tell another. No place is like that in the whole Windsor. No one had seen a Chinese woman? No, no not a Chinese girl or a Chinese guy. In Windsor, uh, for example, when I was growing up, there were, I mean, we were the only Chinese people, Chinese kids in the school. So um, it is uh, at a time of an era when there was an, a lot of um, different cultures and that. So I think it would be a reach to go probably any further than we did. I think uh, we probably even anglicized our culture a bit to to appeal to them. So I don't know if we uh, exploited it. I think what we did is we just were proud of it and we built on it. I saw my parents working night and day and I think that was just too hard on the family. I mean, uh, that that time I think I got guts, really. I mean, I fool people. I know I don't have nothing, I mean, for education, but I know I got to, though. You see, it's pushing me. I got to do it. If I don't, I lose the place, right? I lose the hotel.